Oh man, this was brutal to wake up to in the morning. I'm just glad Missy didn't eat up a Charizard. Welcome back to another card opening video. Hopefully my pain with Misty is your entertainment, but today we have a very special card opening. Not only are we opening up a bunch of Pokemon cards, including a very rare and special, it's like $50, XY Evolutions Blister Pack. We're also opening up an Ice Rider Calyrax V-Box, a Shadow Rider Calyrax V-Box that is not upside down. I thought it was upside down for a second. And the major item in today's video are some trading cards from a art collective from New York, which you guys have probably heard of their products before, most definitely. They've done things like the Lil Nas X, uh, Satan Shoes, the Jesus Shoes, the David Dobrik Puzzle. They did a Boosted Packs Volume 1, which is right here. We opened a couple of these on the channel. Now, they got the Boosted Packs V2, which have just dropped today at 11 a.m. Eastern. These are not just any kind of trading card. Like, imagine you stumbled across a wallet on the sidewalk and you just open it up to see what you find inside. Just imagine all those cards inside that wallet that you found are like cards you get from this thing. So before we open up some of the V2 boosted packs, which I'll open up a couple of these in today's video, I wanna show you guys a couple of my favorites from the first collection that they did. A Mischief University card for Elon Musk's baby. We have an Ikea family card. And some of these uh, cards are included are like gift cards. We have Elizabeth Holmes from Theranos. If you guys know what happened with this whole situation, it's crazy. Same thing with the Enron Corp. We have Jeffrey Skilling's uh, business card for Enron. We have a driver's license for some dude from Hawaii. And then we have a random random child's photo, Bruh. a Subway card, a uh, Costco membership card, but it's Mischief Wholesale. And then my two grails, which I obviously need to get PSA graded, are the Jesus shoes right here. I have it in a top loader, as you guys can tell. And I also have the one and only Steve Jobs. <laughs> so yeah, before we dive into the Pokemon packs, let's just quickly open up this box and showcase you guys the Mischief Boosted Packs V2. I really, really have no idea what to expect when it comes to these cards. All I can tell you is that it's super entertaining and if you wanna bring these to like a, a little party or get together or something or just flex on your friends, like you just randomly pull it out of your wallet. It's such a weird kind of reaction that they get. It's like, why do you have a, why do you have a Steve Jobs trading card <laughs> In your wallet. If you guys are interested in copying some, I'll leave them linked down below for the website. Uh, but let's open like three or four of these up, and then I'm gonna open up a couple more of them on my social media, like uh, TikTok and Instagram. So I'll leave the links in the description down below if you guys want to see more of these wild packs opened up. But here we go. We got ten packs right here. And if I can recall correctly, I remember seeing like the V1 box, like the full box selling for like $500, like on the resale market, it was crazy. So here is a bunch of packs and let's open, let's open three or four, like I said. So I'm hyped, man. I have no idea again, what to expect. Huge shout out to uh, the homies over at Mischief for sending this over. I think I have to use a scissor because opening these packs is a little tricky. They don't open up as easily as I'd say Pokemon cards. They're really, really like tightly sealed in here and I don't want to damage the cards because of course they're kind of valuable you know they're kind of valuable I didn't bother looking up the individual like resale value on some of the like the original cards but I'm gonna have to after this video oh yeah I forgot to mention on the box they actually have like the the list a list of a bunch of chase cards in it so if you guys want to pause the video right there let me just get some zoom in action. You guys can see some of the chase cards that are in here. We got Chili's gift card, some student IDs, Domino's gift card. Okay, we got Allstate. We have a uh, employee IDs, laundry cards. Let's get to the very first pack of the day. We have a Hercules uh, insert. Uh, it looks like a gift card kind of thing. Treat this as cash, do not throw away. Very, very strange looking card. Not sure what that is. We got Cleaner Laundromat from Brooklyn, New York. A reloadable and reusable laundry card. I wonder if this actually works. That'd be crazy if it works. And of course, if it has some uh, some funds lo loaded onto it. Rebel Coffee, New York. It looks like a, like a business card kind of thing. Ooh, oh, it's like one of those like loyalty, uh, loyalty stamp kind of cards. And it looks like we have a bunch of stamps already. So if I go to New York, I might be able to get a free coffee from uh, from Rebel Coffee NYC. We've got Tiffany and Co, a business card here by the looks of it uh, for Reginald Leach, lead designer. That, like that's so random. Why the heck, why the heck do I have this now, right? It's like, am I doing business with Tiffany and Co? If a friend just sees that in my wallet or on my desk, they're gonna be like, what the heck? And then we have Awesome Taste Slump Town Coffee. Looks like another kind of, uh, business card for some coffee buy 10 
get one. <laughs> I wonder like if there's any like iconic cards uh, that I feel like I have to get like top loaded right away or anything like that because when I saw the Jesus shoes cards when I saw the uh, Steve Jobs cards I was like all right I gotta I gotta top load that you know we, we might have to get this PSA graded one day because it's just such a random collectible thing and I know I'm probably never gonna buy the Jesus shoes so that's the closest I'm gonna get <laughs> to owning the Jesus shoes we have a valet card parking attendant on duty so it's like an employee kind of card for this valet uh, employee that's so random. Oh, we got a photo of somebody here. What the <laughs> bro? Who is this kid? <laughs> who is Dylan? No, 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 Dylan no, no, LeMay? No. Dylan LeMay, grade one, dream job ice cream man. There were there was photos like this before in the previous um wave of cards. That's so weird to me. We have a fun pass for horseshoe junction. Howdy partner, swipe your card here. Oh, that's cool, like an arcade kind of thing. That's kind of fun. Oh, that's dope. I wonder if there's any credits on this as well. Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. Oh, okay. It's a bow hunting safety certificate. Ah, okay. And a Espresso Coffee. Another kind of coffee business card right here. Is it a buy 10, get one free kind of deal on the back? And oh, even better. It's buy seven espressos, uh, espressitos, <laughs> get one free. So it looks like we have six stamps already. All right, let's open two more and get on to some, uh, let's shuffle it up actually. Let's open up two more or three more. Let's open up three more. I'm having fun with this. And then uh, we'll open up the rest again on uh, social media. So it's at Sneaker Talk CA for those platforms. But here we go. <laughs> What's so tight? What? Police Benevolent Associa Association. This is a surgeon card right here. Interesting. Oh, well, we got a bunch of things on the back. I have no idea what's going on here. It's just like a bunch of different positions and their names. So that's that's cool. We got another bow hunting safety certificate. A, ooh, laser tag power play card. Bro, I missed laser tag. Oh, remember those birthday parties growing up? If you were fortunate to go to those laser tag birthday parties, so much fun. I actually went to a laser tag for my birthday like four years ago. Massachusetts Auto Insurance Courtesy Information for all states. So we have an all state card for insurance. Very interesting. We have a Boston Dynamics sales director. Uh, another business card kind of thing here too. Two more packs and then we're gonna get to some Pokemon cards. But again, huge thanks to Mischief for sending these very, very strange cards over. I really am curious what kind of other art projects or like just projects in general that they have cooking up. Cause you guys know if they're cooking up stuff like this, they probably have like a huge whiteboard full of ideas in their offices or something like that. Jasprey Patel, so another like ID card. In our, oh, there we go. We got the Blockbuster membership card. This is probably gonna be my favorite one. Honestly, I might just throw this in my wallet knowing I can't use it, but I'm just gonna put it in my wallet just because. And it's like a fresh, it's a, it's a freshly, freshly made card. Fun pass, Horseshoe Junction, another uh, arcade pass right here. What? We just pulled a Billie Eilish, a Billie Eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm just curious if like they have her permission because this is mad funny yo. This is mad funny. We got a Billie Eilish. I wonder if any of this is accurate at all. But it has like a bunch of her information here. Is that her real address? P -p -p maybe. It, it might be. <laughs> That's so jokes. We pulled we pulled a Billie Eilish. Okay, that'd be fun to give to like a Billie Eilish fan if you knew someone who's like crazy about her. And then we have a Kyla Samantha. A Browns University uh, student card. If if you guys know Samantha, I have her card. Hopefully this isn't her actual card. <laughs> Last pack magic. Let's get to the final boosted pack right here. I wonder if they have any other uh, kind of like notable celebrities or artists or musicians out there have like an ID card. Because I remember we had Steve Jobs last time, right? So. Oh, I don't want to damage these, mo they're, they're so tight. American Museum of Natural History, a membership card for the museum. We got Blue Cross, Blue Shield, so like a health card kind of thing or an insurance thing, I'm not sure. We don't really have Blue Cross in Canada, do we? I don't know. Ooh, the sun. The sun is a good card to have. <laughs> I think this is a tarot card. Isn't that what they use for psychics and stuff like that? So we have a the sun tarot card with a little like naked child on this horse. What the heck is going on here? Is there something on the back? Ooh, there's nothing on the back, but it looks like a really funky, funky design. And I saw this just a second ago. We got the Chili's, the Chili's gift card. 
Fun fact, I've only ate at Chili's twice in my life, once in Texas and then once in the Philippines. So uh, I'm definitely gonna wanna try and redeem this the next time I go to Chili's. I'm just gonna put it in my wallet and hopefully I remember next time I have to pay at Chili's that I have a gift card because we don't have them in Canada. But will this work? Oh, there's an actual like pin thing, like a scratcher thing on the back. So honestly, this might have some money on it. Okay, we might've hit the jackpot. Yay! We might've hit the jackpot. And a uh, Gabrielle Sanchez ID card at A. Oh, is that Alphabet? I don't know what company this is. That is the first half of the Boosted Packs Volume 2 Booster Box. Thanks again, Misha, for sending this over. I'll leave links down below for more information on these cards, these very, very unique trading cards. All right, let's get to some Pokemon cards right now. And of course, at the end of the video, we're gonna open up this very, very special XY Evolutions blister. So I'm just gonna put that right there so we can remember to open it at the very end of the video. But for now, we're gonna have a little pack battle, you could say, between these two boxes. So let's start off by opening up the Ice Rider box first. Here is a look at the promo card for Ice Rider Calyrex V. Code card as well, when you guys can redeem that. We got Chilling Rain, we got a Rebel Clash, a Chilling Rain once again, and a Darkness of Blaze. So we'll open up Darkness of Blaze last and do Rebel Clash first. And the interesting thing about these boxes is at first people were kind of disappointed because they had Rebel Clash, but now that Dragapult VMAX is one of the top decks in the current meta in uh, the Pokemon competitive card game, um, I actually don't mind getting these packs anymore because I kind of want a full art boss's orders. I kind of want a full art Dragapult V or a Rainbow Rare Dragapult VMAX. So here we go. Let's get to the very first pack. Haunted, Time Pole, Volibi, Morgrim, and a Diggersby's Digger's non-hollow. Chilling Rain up next. Let's see what we can get. Maybe some uh, Galarian Bird action. That would be pretty awesome. We have Electric Energy, Ledian, Welcoming Lantern, Clara. Furfru, Venipede, a Spiel, Crab Brawler, Golette, Weedle, and a Hatrin Hollow Rare. Oh, that pack just ripped open like butter. That was beautiful. I love when packs just like melt in your hands. It's a really, really nice feeling. We have a Darkness Energy and a camera that doesn't want to focus. There we go. Fog Crystal, Hatrim, Drizzile, Heracross, a Ralts, Cast Form, Spiel, Hatchena, a Sazbuck, and a Zangoose non hollow This is the pack where we get a hit. Typically you get one and three to four. This is pack number four. And uh, we actually got a bunch of error packs in the last video I uploaded with the Costco packs. We got a bunch of green code cards and in three of the green code cards, we got hits or hollow rares are better. So here we go. Darkness of Blaze, last pack. What can we pull from this before we get to Shadow Rider? It is a, oh, huge hit, nice. A Scizor VMAX, wow, hyper rare Scizor VMAX. I'll have the values on screen. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Look at that, guys. Wow, we're gonna sleeve that up. What a way to, to make up for that box. That box was hurting. So we're gonna put Scizor VMAX right there. We got Shadow Rider. So I'll open this box and I'll be right back. Here is the Shadow Rider Calyrax V promo. And on that note, since we have two promos, let's give away one of these today. So if you guys wanna enter the giveaway for one of the promos, the Shadow Rider or the Ice Rider promo, all you have to do is comment down below what you guys think about the Mischief trading cards. Those really wacky and weird and obscure trading cards that I showed you earlier in today's video and which version of the uh, Shadow Rider or Ice Rider that you want. Once again, we got some Chilling Rain, some Rebel Clash, some more Chilling Rain, and Darkness Ablaze. We're gonna open up that XY Evolutions that's just staring at me in the back. It would be crazy if we pull a Charizard from both Darkness Ablaze and XY Evolutions. Let's see what we can get done today, guys. Let's see what we can do. And hope you guys are having a great day. It is a nice, Nice Thursday afternoon, so we're almost at the weekend and I have a lot of fun weekend plans uh, ahead of me. All right, Durant and a Barrascuda. Chilling Rain, round two. And I have a lot of uh, vlogs on the way. There's a lot of vlogs on this channel, which I have to edit still. They're like all half edited. So you guys can expect a tournament vlog on the way, a Toys R Us vlog on the way as well. There's a lot of heat, a lot of heat cooking up. All right, Clobopus, Cast Form, Hatchena, Aeron, Ralts, Cast Form, and a Tornadus V, Ultra Rare Hit. Nice, not too bad, not too bad. He's not, he's not too valuable. He's like a, he's like two or three dollars, three dollars at most, at most. 
That Scizor V Max though, probably like 30 or 40 bucks, which is nice because these boxes are like 25 bucks each. So I can sell that and basically recoup my money for these two boxes. And we have the fun entertainment of opening these up together. Path to the Peak, Lediana, Golat, Honey, We Shrunk the Kids, and oh wow, back to back bangers. A Ice Rider Calyrax V Max, very, very nice hits. Wow, that's back to back hits right there. You'll love to see it. We got three hits so far out of seven packs. Let's see, can we get a 50% hit ratio out of these boxes? And then we're gonna open up that XY Evolutions right after, so stay tuned for that, because that is an expensive pack to open. Metal Energy, Staravia, Combuskin, oh I like that kick, he's doing like a smash kick right there. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing, we have a Larvesta, Spinarak, Squavet, Rowlet, Sentret, Bird Keeper, Reverse Hollow, and a Axelagore. On to the glorious XY Evolutions blister pack right here. These things go for a lot of money, and I think we have, yeah, what well, looks like a Charizard art right there. So let's just open this up. These are like super, 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 super hard to find. And the Greninja promo that comes with it is really nice too. So we're gonna take that Greninja promo out real quick. Really, really good looking promo. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape either. Usually these cards get Oh, the back hurts a little bit at the top. There's some whitening. We have a coin as well that's included. Uh, I think this is a starter from Sun and Moon. I'm not too familiar with that one. And then we have the famous or infamous XY Evolutions booster pack. Dude, I remember when I was getting back into the hobby last summer, I was buying these packs for five or six dollars each, just the regular booster pack. And then each week, the price of these packs kept going up like a dollar every like it just kept going up so the card trick is three i believe for xy series so there we go one two three and let's go xy evolutions baby machoke full heal kakuna magikarp electabuzz volpix oh this art reminds me of the supermarket days when i put the 25 cents into that machine and then the card would come out with some cardboard around it radata a leaf or grass energy grass energy a reverse hollow Porygon, and our rare card is a, ah, oh, Dugong non-hollow. Thanks again, Mischief, for the Boosted Packs V2. I'll have their link down below. Catch you next time. Peace out.